What is up, you guys? Welcome back to Wheelchair EDC. I am Roland, as you guys know. Um, I've been working on this video for a little bit of time. Uh, since these mags came out, they were released back in, I want to say, around November. So I've been using it for a while, trying to... Uh, function test it. I've only bought one. The drawback about these, the negative, the only negative is the price. They are pretty expensive, but this video is about 10 round mags for car series pistols. Um, as you guys know, I carry a car CW9. It is clear. There's nothing so I have this gun on me at all times. This is my primary right now. Um, but I just, like I said, picked these up back in November, October, November-ish. Uh, they were released from, I'll put the website on screen right now. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. Um, sorry if I sound funny, um, kind of sick and just thought I would do this video real quick. But yeah, so I've been carrying this mag as a backup. It is a 10 round mag. It is based off of the uh, seven round body, as you guys can see. It would have been nice if they would have done the eight round body, but it would have been uh, hard to get in California here where I am unless if it was during Freedom Week which it was released after unfortunately but for those of you in free states it would be nice so as you guys can see it is just a seven round mag body with a plus three extension base plate I do have the eight round mag this is the primary mag that I keep in the gun at all times so you guys can see that I have uh, large, extra large hands, and you guys can see that I still get a really good grip and it conceals pretty good with my hand. For the seven round, I still get a very good grip. It conceals a lot better if you guys carry this gun in appendix. That is a lot easier to conceal than the eight rounder because that will stick out just a little bit more. But going to the 10 rounder, this sticks out a lot. So this is really good for the range and really good as a spare mag backup mag. It fits really good. It doesn't have that much play. The seam around here I don't know if you guys can pick it up in the camera it's pretty tight uh, it could be a little bit better but it is what it is I mean for sixty eight dollars per mag you would think that they would get it right uh, I did have one malfunction with it and that was the very first three shots I'm not sure if it was just the FMJs that I was shooting or if it was just breaking in the spring, but it jammed. But after that first mag, the first three rounds, it functioned perfectly. And I have about 200 rounds through this mag alone. So it, it works really good. Um, like I said, the only negative to it is the price. I wish they were a little bit cheaper, but like I said, they they were just released, so this is the first run. Of course, there's going to be some issues, um, but yeah, I've got a number of rounds through it already. It only jammed that one time. It looks pretty cool. I mean, especially, you know, in a small package like this. Uh, I do wish it fit the frame better, kind of like the eight round mag. Um, I wish it fit around like this one is nice and round it fits the angle of the grip the uh, whatever you want to call it um, uh, here I'll show you guys this way so you guys can see hopefully 
that this is nice and round. This is the eight rounder, this is the 10 rounder. The 10 rounder has two edges on each side where your fingers lay. So if your pinky and your support hand are on this after the recoil or with the recoil, it's gonna start tearing you up a little bit. It is um, aluminum, I think. It feels like aluminum, but I'm not 100%. But um, I haven't disassembled it. To disassemble it, you pull off this screw. It is a Allen head, and it looks like this whole back plate comes off. And then you slide the base pad, the extension, forward. Um, I don't really want to mess with it because I don't know how big this set screw is that holds it. And I don't know if it's easy to strip or anything like that. So I don't really want to mess with it right now. Uh, I will clean it eventually, but till then it's just going to be like this. Um, here's a quick comparison of the size differences. So here is the seven round mag, as you guys can see. Uh, easy three finger grip, perfect for CW series. Uh, the eight round mag. So you can get your pinky on there. You can get a really good grip. And then with the 10 round mag, you can get an even better grip because it's a little bit bigger, uh, more shelf for your pinky down here. So a little bit better grip and it adds uh, the weight of the plus three rounds. So it does actually help with recoil a little bit just because it's you know the extra extra weight um, I did notice that they have the upgraded follower compared to the original like double shelf so it's one and then it tilts forward this is like the upgraded uh, follower new generation so that's nice. Um, it is just the exact same follower, nothing really different other than the shape of how it holds the rounds, the angle, the pitch. But yeah, it's a good mag. It functioned great. Like I said, I only had one issue and that was the first three rounds. So I'm not sure if that was mag spring related or just a bad round that got stuck. But yeah. Just a quick little review for those of you um, interested in a 10 round mag for your car pistols. This does fit the PM9s, the C9s, the P9s, any 9mm car mag, this will fit. So I'm not sure if it'll fit the 40, but I know it'll fit all the 9s, which it for something like this, it's really worth it as a spare, a backup mag, just to get those extra rounds because everyone knows cars are limited on capacity. So when you do buy this gun, you get one mag, one seven round mag, and then, oh, and then you have the option of the eight round mag. And that's been it for a while. So having 10 rounds makes this a little bit bigger than like a Glock 26 with the same capacity. So you get a better grip in a platform or a layout between a Glock 19 and a Glock 26. So to me, it's worth it. Um, other than the price, like I said, it's... I think I paid 68 just under 70 or around $70 shipped for one mag, which yeah, it's expensive, but I mean, I didn't see any reviews on this yet. I still haven't seen any reviews on this yet. So here's a quick review for you guys. Sorry, I don't have footage of me using this in the range, but 
unfortunately, I tried to film and the range master said no filming. Um, and I forgot my tripod, so I was trying to hold it. So he, I don't know, maybe I was being unsafe the way I was doing it, but I just propped my phone up against a box of ammo. But, you know, it is what it is. So here's a quick little thing of the size comparison. As you guys can see, seven rounder, eight rounder, 10 rounder. It's not that big of a difference. It's about a quarter inch between the seven and eight rounder and then about three quarter to one inch difference from the eight to the 10. And then from the seven to the 10 is about two inches difference. So just to give you guys an idea, um, the mag was really stiff to load in the beginning. So I spent about, you know, three or four days just loading this, unloading this, let it sit with the, uh, the rounds in the mag. It's still a little stiff, but it's a lot easier than what it was. Yeah, I'm really forcing these last two in. Um, but just leave rounds in it, compress that spring, you know, let it work its way in, uh, soften up a little bit. Obviously, the more you use it, the more it's going to break in, the faster it'll break in. But, um, yeah, it's, it's a nice mag. I like it. I might pick up another one just to have a second spare as I'm carrying this gun, but... Like I said, the price for it is uh, really up there. I wish it was a little bit cheaper. But yeah, so just a quick little video on the car 10 round mag that was just released uh, not too long ago. Hope you guys enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like it. Uh, leave me a comment down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe, share the video with people that you think would benefit from this. And always remember, keep rolling and stay armed.